Hey friends, another Webflow apps review. All right, this one is another one by AZ We Do. Um, it's called Logo to Use. And this one is really good if you're a template designer or you're just trying to make some uh, mocks for a website and you need some placeholder logos. So these are all just fictitious uh, businesses right here fictitious logos and uh, you can use any of them. It's really cool. So they have these three tabs right here. So you can go with straight white or have um, a black version or you can have uh, a colored version. So really cool to, to work with. Now, the only thing that gets me confused about this app is that uh, you can go here. Let's choose the first one and you can play around with the size and you can play around with the color. So if I want the straight black one, instead of clicking on black, I can go here, or I can choose a different uh, color for the whole thing. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's do it like that. I'm going to insert it, and now it has been inserted. Oh, I have to click on a, there you go. I have to click on an element first and then insert it. All right, now it's inserted. Now that it's inserted, um, the, the width, I can play around with it here instead of inside the app. So I'm going to say something large, like 360, right? Um, but if I want to change the the color, I'm like, oh, no, I don't want black. Um, my first thought is, okay, I'm going to change it from here. But it's not using current color in the overall, you know, in the overall SVG. So if I want to change the color after I've inserted into the page, I have to go to each one and see how this right here is linked or has a color. So now I can change the color uh, for each, but I mean, that would just take a long time if I have to change it for each, if I want all of them to be just red, all right? So um, you have to know what color you want when you insert it. So let me go ahead and launch this again go here and then I have to know the color that I want before I insert it. So uh, one of the things to the team who created this, uh, I would suggest just use current color rather than limiting people to uh, having to go back into your app and changing the color. So yeah, um, and again, colored version, that's really cool too. You can change the colors in the in the actual logo. So if I go here, I can change it and I can see a preview. And I can preview what's going to look like on a black background or a white background. So that's nice. But again, just let the users choose when it comes to one of these, just all one color. Let the user choose by using the typography uh, rather than having them to figure it out when they get to here. And this sizing, you can't type in a size. Uh, you have to just go with it. So I'm going to say 204 on this. Insert. Oh, I have to click element insert and so it's 204 oh it's white i need changes to black uh so there you go so i did 204 but look at that the width is 124 uh not sure what's going on there so i'm going to click on this try it again and um let's use automation 204 and i want this to be black insert oh i can't Insert because I have to click on automation again. All right, so that was confusing too. So there you go, insert. Um, yeah, so this is now still 124. So that's it for this review. Uh, really good for, again, template designers, people who need placeholder uh, logos. Really, really good app to use. Still kind of confusing with the UX. Um, I think this is something the team could really fix really quickly, but uh, the things to fix is, again, just letting the users use um, current color so you can do the typography to change the color of the whole logo. And also the, the width. You don't need to put a size in the app. Just let people do it on Webflow. All right, so that's it. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.